Okay, so to get started on our Romero Brito inspired four leaf clover, you're going to find the middle of your page. Doesn't have to be perfect, but guess right where the middle is, and you want to make a circle about the size of a grape. And next, we're going to make a plus sign. So I want to go up toward the edge of my page, down toward the edge of my page, over toward the edge of my page, and the other direction. Now what I want to do is curve from here. I'm going to make a half a circle that comes back down to that circle. And I want to curve. It's like a little cane. And now you'll notice it looks like a heart. So the easiest way for me to do this, instead of working sideways now, I like to rotate my page, make half a heart, make the other half, rotate my page, make half a heart, and the other half. And there's our clover. So this is a really good start. The next thing we're going to do is break up our background into a couple of uh, just different areas, different sections. So what I want to do is, let's say I could use straight lines, I could use curved lines, I'm going to start somewhere. You can copy this exactly if you want to. And there's going to be a semicircle, a piece of a circle. I'm going to do a straight line that cuts across. Okay, they don't cut into my shamrock, they go behind. I'll do another straight line that cuts across. Yours does not have to look exactly like Mr. Poulos's, but it can. I'll do another wavy line there. And I think that's pretty good. You can see I didn't do 100 lines, right? But what I did was I broke up my background into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 sections. Something about that is pretty good. Now, the last step here, before we get coloring, is to add pattern. Now, Romero Brito was very, very famous for all of the different patterns that he created. Now, you can do all of this in Sharpie. You can do some of this in Sharpie. Some of his most famous patterns would be hearts. And what you can do is pick a section, right? I'm just going to work in this section here. And I'm going to make a bunch of hearts. I'm going to do a couple of half hearts so that it makes it look like the pattern goes off of that section, right? Another really famous pattern that he, he did was just stripes, rainbow lines almost, right? Polka dots, different sizes, flowers, do a circle, and a wavy line around it. You can come up with your own patterns. You can also take a look at some of Romero Brito's paintings and copy some of what he did. I'm going to do some zigzag lines. And I'm going to do some wavy lines. And it's okay to reuse patterns. But when I color them, This heart pattern is going to be different from this heart pattern. Maybe this will be yellow background and pink hearts. Maybe this will be blue background and green hearts. Whatever. You want to make this as different as possible. But if you have to reuse shapes or patterns, I think that's okay. I'm just going to finish adding in different patterns here. And I will see you guys in a minute. Now when it comes time to color these, we really don't want any white space. It's okay to have a little bit of white, like if I wanted to leave the stars white, for example, I think that would be fine. But I'm not ever going to leave a, a section with like these orange hearts. I wouldn't leave the background white. It's going to need some color. Romero Brito's artwork was colorful. 
this is a great chance for you guys to dig in, have some fun. When it comes time to color, I would focus on your shamrock because I don't know how long this will take. But we would like the shamrock to look done today, I think. So I'm going to focus on the shamrock first. Taking my time. I can use crayons. I can use markers. But that's a finished section. No white space, different colors. And like I said, if you use the same pattern, use different colors. These guys wouldn't do here. Okay, I would want to use green and blue or something else. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. I'll see you next time.